That video that went viral has today been joined by classmates and community members in taking a stand against bullying. Red Corbett has cerebral palsy. His story came to light when the video showed people walking on him as he was lying face down in a brook. CTV's Kyle Moore tonight with today's rally and the apologies from those involved. More than 50 people gathered outside Glace Bay High School today to show their support for 14-year-old Brett Corbett. Ryan Rizicki organized the event after seeing this video on social media. I kind of could relate to him a bit, so I definitely I wanted to, to uh, reach out and see if we could make him feel, you know, like, like he's not alone here. Last week, Brett Corbett, who has cerebral palsy, says he was forced to lie face down in a cold brook, while others used him as a bridge to get across. Since the incident, Corbett says he's been receiving threats online because some people think he's looking for attention. I haven't been able to go on Xbox because I've been getting hit. It's one of my favorite things to do, and I can't even go on. Corbett's mother, Terry McAchran, says three of the teens involved since apologized. I had them at my house, yes, the two girls, and it was, he did, he forgave them. At the end of the day, that's what matters. We don't have any hate towards them, though. No. Terry McAchran says her son has been bullied since elementary school. She's hoping today's rally will make others think twice before targeting someone like her son was. This is an amazing outcome, and his message is getting out there. Um, stand up with Brett. He wants bullying to stop in general. Not just him, like he's, he's told you. Stand up next time you see somebody there. The kids, don't just stand there and mock ridicule. Next time you see a child in that position, be that child that reaches out, not that child that videos and says, come on, let's get you out of this situation. Meanwhile, the Cape Breton Victoria Regional Center for Education says it is taking a restorative approach involving students, staff, and parents.